Hello and welcome to Incorruptible Mass News for Wednesday, April 18th, 2023. So we're going to start with this week's activism. These are events that you can show up at um, at 3.30 on Friday, this Friday, April 21st. For Earth Day, uh, XR is hosting an Earth Day in Love and Rage at the Boston City Hall. At 2 p.m. on Saturday, April 22nd, Mass Peace Action uh, is having their Peace and Justice Agenda with legislators. I believe this is over Zoom. On Saturday, April 29th, from noon to 4, the Poor People's Campaign is having a statewide meeting in Springfield. And on May 4th at 10 a.m. is Mass Care's Lobby Day. That is to help Mass Care um, and all of us pass Medicare for All here in Massachusetts at the state level. If you know of any other actions happening, please let us know. Um, info at incorruptiblemass.org. In climate news. So the G7, and in case you don't know exactly what the G7 is, um, it is seven countries, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, United States, United Kingdom, and the European Union. And if you were counting, yes, that is eight. And the European Union isn't a country, but they are called a non-enumerated member. So that is the G7. And in advance of the official G7 meeting next month in Japan, some members of the G7 have vowed to a goal, net, a goal of net zero emissions by 2050. They agreed theoretically to speed up the phasing out of fossil fuels. However, they could not agree to a 2030 deadline for phasing out coal, and they refused to cut off investments in gas. So we don't know exactly what this theoretical agreement is, but uh, the specific agreements don't appear to be going through. The British government has eliminated its most senior climate diplomatic post. This is their special representative for climate change. They do not plan to replace that person. Uh, Biden has approved uh, Alaska gas export, exports, uh, that is liquefied natural gas, um, and to uh, export that to countries with which the United States does not have a free trade agreement, mainly in Asia. <clears throat> Biden has proposed strict new automobile pollution limits, uh, 2027 through 2032 model years for passenger vehicles will be limited to even stricter levels than the auto industry agreed to in 2021. By the way, um, electric vehicle sales have tripled since Biden first came into office. The uh, Kelkaya Glacier in Peru is half the size that it was 40 years ago and a recent study suggests that it might soon disappear, which would destroy the culture of the indigenous people whose way of life depends upon it. Scientists have discovered a deep sea reef teeming with life in the Galapagos near Ecuador, one they did not know about before. Scientists warned that more than half of North America's bat species are likely to diminish significantly within the next 15 years. And the city of Berkeley, California, passed a ban on natural gas being installed in new buildings. This was a couple years ago. Um, but the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in San Francisco has officially sided with the California Restaurant Association um, to halt that bill being put into place. Um, it says that it violates federal law that gives the U.S. government the authority to set energy efficiency standards for appliances. This is similar to what we were talking about, how California is trying to pass tighter emission standards on vehicles, um, and they had to get a special waiver. So cities are not allowed to pass bans on things like natural gas being installed in buildings. Um, and this is a major uh, climate thing that is happening here in this country. Okay, on to international news. As you have probably heard, there were um, there was a trove of leaked documents that were classified reports um, from national security documents. Um, these were revealed. Um, they revealed secrets about um, the United States, uh, allied and Ukrainian military deployments, um, and a number of other things, including uh, U.S. Uh, spying on allies, including South Korea and Israel and on the UN Secretary General, Anto Antonio Guterres. Um, and the UN has stepped in now and said that these actions of spying are inconsistent with the obligations of the United States as enumerated in the Charter of the United Nations and the Convention on the Privileges and Immunities of the United Nations. Um, it is in fact a 21 year old Massachusetts National Guardsman, Jack Teixeira, who we, has at least been arrested over these leaked classified documents. Um, so that is who um, they believe was the person leaking those documents. 
President, French President Macron has now signed into law that bill we've been talking about that would raise the retirement age in France from 62 to 64, and there are more mass protests going on in France. In Sudan this week, rival leaders of the military government battle for control of the country. They've killed at least 180 civilians, injured hundreds more um, since Saturday. The fighting, unfortunately, has really um, diminished the hopes that there would be a democratically elected government that was run by civilians instead of the military in Sudan. And finally, uh, President Brazilian President Lula, Luis Ignacio Lula da Silva uh, is forming a group of leaders, uh, worldwide leaders, that will work to end the Ukraine conflict via diplomacy and try to end the war. In national news, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signs a bill banning abortions at six weeks, while Colorado's Democratic Governor Jared Polis has signed three bills into law protecting access to abortion and gender-affirming care. Calls are growing for Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas to be impeached. He failed to disclose a sale of some property to a billionaire Republican megadonor Harlan Crow. Um, and this is after previous information came out that he has unreported luxury trips that Harlan Crow lavished on him over two decades. Uh, unfortunately, this has been a terrible week in Black Lives Matter, so I have a whole separate section for that. Um, in Kansas City, Missouri, a white 84-year-old homeowner was charged with two felonies on Monday after he shot and critically injured a Black teenager who rang his doorbell by mistake trying to pick up his younger siblings. A uh, grand jury in Akron, Ohio, has decided not to bring criminal charges against eight police officers who fatally shot Jalen Walker, a 25-year-old Black man, after a traffic stop last June. Body cam footage shows that they chased uh, Walker. After he got out of his car, he was running away, he was unarmed, um, and he was shot 46 times. Two uh, police in Indianapolis are charged with manslaughter for the killing of Herman Whitfield in his parents' home. And police in Framingham, New Mexico, have released footage showing um, how officers shot and killed a black man in his own home on April 5th, and they because they arrived at the wrong address. <clears throat> okay, in state news, Body City, Boston City Council nomination petition papers are available today. And while many other states have free community colleges, Massachusetts does not, Governor Healy introduced uh, what she's calling Mass Reconnect to make community college free only for Massachusetts residents who are 25 or older and do not have another college degree. That's a very small program. <clears throat> the Massachusetts State House has passed the tax package and please listen to our episode a week or two ago about how this is primarily a tax cut for the rich. Um, and just because it passed in the House doesn't mean the whole thing is passed, right? The governor has one version, the Senate has one version, the state house passed a version. Only three state reps voted against this giant giveaway to um, to rich people that we literally just voted should be paying more in taxes. Um, and I'm going to call them out because we're very proud of them. Thank you very much to Representative Mike Connolly from Cambridge, Representative Dan Sena from Acton, and Representative Erica Eierhoven from Somerville. The House budget is, debate is slated for the week of April 22nd, and it will include all sorts of things on the budget, including exactly how to spend the fair share millionaire's tax. Um, and after a Texas court ruling against the FDA approval of an abortion pill, um, Mifepristone, I hope I said that right, um, that happened early in April, but Governor Healy ordered 15,000 doses of that, and they have now arrived in Massachusetts, which should last more than a year. And that is the news for uh, today, Wednesday, April 18th. If you have news to share, uh, especially if you have any activist events that you want us to announce, please send them on over. That's info at incorruptiblemass.org. Thanks, everybody.